Once upon a time, there was a poor fisherman who went out to sea every day to catch fish. One day, while fishing, he pulled up a strange bottle from the water. Curious, he opened the bottle and out came a huge cloud of smoke. The smoke quickly took shape and turned into a mighty genie. The fisherman was shocked and didn't know what to do. The genie looked at the fisherman and said, Thank you for freeing me. I will grant you three wishes. The fisherman was amazed. He had heard many stories about powerful genies, but he never thought he would meet one. However, before making any wishes, the fisherman asked the genie why he had been trapped in the bottle for so long. The genie sighed and said, I was once a powerful being who helped kings and queens. But after a long time, I grew tired and became angry. I made a terrible mistake and was trapped in this bottle as punishment. I've been stuck here for centuries. The fisherman listened carefully, feeling sorry for the genie, but he also wondered what would happen next. The genie continued, after spending hundreds of years in the bottle, I started to offer rewards to those who freed me. First, I gave them great wealth. Then, I gave them power. But over time, I became more bitter, and my rewards turned into curses. Now, I seek revenge on those who freed me. The fisherman was scared but didn't know how to escape this dangerous situation. The fisherman thought quickly and asked, What do you mean by revenge? The genie smiled a wicked smile and said, I will make sure that you suffer greatly for releasing me. It is the price you must pay. The fisherman began to fear for his life. He had heard of genies who could cause great harm, and now he was face to face with one. What could he do? The fisherman, trying to remain calm, said, Wait. Before you harm me, let me ask you one question. You have lived in that bottle for so long. Surely, you have learned a great deal. Tell me, what is the most important lesson you have learned? The genie paused, thinking deeply about the question. After a moment, he spoke slowly. The genie said, I have learned that power and revenge are not the answers. I spent centuries filled with anger and hatred, and it only brought me misery. I wasted my life in the bottle, and now, I see how foolish it was. I should have spent my time helping others, not seeking revenge. The fisherman was surprised by the genie's change in attitude and wondered if this was his chance. The fisherman took a deep breath and said, I have heard that when someone admits their mistakes, they can change. If you truly want to change, I am willing to help you. The genie stared at the fisherman, surprised by his kindness. He didn't expect such a response, but deep down, he knew the fisherman was right. Maybe this was his chance for redemption. The genie lowered his head, feeling ashamed. You are right. I have caused so much pain, and now, I wish to change. Please, help me, and I promise I will never harm anyone again. The fisherman, seeing the genie's sincerity, smiled and said, If you truly wish to change, I believe you can. But remember, it's never too late to do good. The genie was moved by the fisherman's words. He thanked him and promised to be kind from that moment on. I will never seek revenge again, the genie said. I will help those who are kind to me, and I will use my power for good. The fisherman, feeling relieved, said, Then, you are free to go. You don't have to stay trapped in that bottle anymore. The genie's face lit up with joy. Thank you, thank you so much. I am free at last. With a flash of light, the genie disappeared, leaving the fisherman standing on the beach, feeling amazed by what had just happened. He couldn't believe that the genie, once filled with anger and revenge, had turned into a force for good. Years passed, and the fisherman continued his life, fishing peacefully by the sea. He often thought about the genie and hoped that the genie kept his promise to help others. One day, while fishing, the fisherman caught a large fish. To his surprise, 
The fish spoke, I am grateful for your kindness. I will grant you three wishes. The fisherman was astonished. It reminded him of the genie, and he asked the fish, Why do you want to grant me wishes? The fish replied, Because you freed me from the net, and I want to return your kindness. You have done good, and now you deserve something in return. The fisherman thought for a moment and then made his wishes. He wished for enough food to feed his family, for a small house by the sea, and for a life full of peace. The fish granted his wishes with a smile, and the fisherman's life became better than ever. He shared his good fortune with others, always remembering the lessons he learned from the genie. He never sought revenge and always helped those in need. One day, as the fisherman walked along the beach, he saw a man in trouble. The man had lost his way and was asking for help. Without hesitation, the fisherman helped him. Thank you, the man said. You have saved me. The fisherman smiled and said, It's always important to help others, just like I was once helped by the genie. As time passed, the fisherman's reputation grew. People from far and wide came to him for help. He became known as the kind fisherman, always ready to lend a hand. His life was full of happiness, and he never forgot the lesson he learned from the genie, that kindness, not revenge, brings true peace. One day, the fisherman received a letter. It was from the genie. I have been watching you, my friend, the genie wrote. You have become a great man, and I am proud of you. I have helped many people, and I will continue to do so because of the kindness you showed me. The fisherman smiled, knowing that he had helped the genie change for the better. The fisherman knew that life wasn't always easy, but he understood that by helping others, he made the world a better place. He looked back at the time he freed the genie, and he realized that one small act of kindness can change everything. The genie had taught him the value of compassion, and he had shared that lesson with others. In the end, the fisherman's life was filled with happiness, love, and peace. He never sought revenge and always chose kindness, just as the genie had promised. The story of the fisherman and the genie became a lesson for all who heard it, that kindness, not revenge, is the key to a good life. The fisherman's legacy lived on, inspiring others to help and be kind.